even a lot to be fair, it's a very small amount. Wow. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new then welcome. I'm a professional makeup artist showing you educational beauty. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you some foundations we're going to talk about and I'm going to show you the difference between a light coverage foundation and a full coverage foundation and talk about everything in between. So before we jump into the video, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And you can catch me over on Instagram too, so don't forget to follow me there. Now let's jump straight into the video. So what's the difference between light and full coverage foundation? So we're gonna go into that now. I'm also gonna show you kind of like more of a medium coverage foundation. So light, medium, and full coverage. And we're gonna start with basically applying the foundation. I'm gonna talk through it as we go along. So I wanna kind of like apply a light coverage on one side, and then I wanna apply full coverage on the other side. Then I'll remove the light coverage and apply the medium so you can see what the difference is. I don't have foundation on, but I do have concealer out on my upper lids and a little bit on my under eyes and obviously my brows are done. We can go straight in. So I'm going to start with light coverage. Now light coverage is basically a very sheer foundation. So what it does is it gives you almost like a tint. So it's not necessarily coverage. It's not going to cover blemishes. It's not going to kind of cover any acne scarring that you might have or any pigmentation issues. It literally just gives a very, very light veil of colour on your skin. Now I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Tint. It's the Blurring Skin Tint. It's number 13 that I'm using. I'm gonna apply this on one side. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty 115 Foundation Brush. I've got the, the tint on the back of my hand. I'm just picking it out with the brush. And now I'm just gonna kind of like apply this to half my face. Okay, so I've applied this to the face and as you can see, I, I would say that the redness has kind of gone. So the best way to describe a, a light coverage foundation is that it helps to give a veil of color so it evens the skin tone. So it's not necessarily covering things, it's just evening the skin tone and giving you that nice veil of color. So everything looks a bit more uniform now, but I can still see like pigmentation here, also some kind of like blemishes that I can see and obviously around this area it's still kind of like dark which is usually when I would apply a bit more concealer. But overall, I feel like it's just a bit more kind of even, but it hasn't necessarily given me coverage. Now what I want to do is come in with my full coverage foundation. I'm using that Kat Von D Good Apple Foundation, which is a skin perfecting foundation balm full coverage. This is medium 039. I'm going to use a different brush for this. I'm going to use the 110 foundation brush from Fenty. Let's go in with this. This is very full coverage. I'm literally going to be just, and this isn't even a lot to be fair, it's a very small amount. Wow. I have a lot of texture here by the way, so from, um, it's just acne scarring. I guess with full coverage, you're also going to see more of the colour come through because obviously there's it's high pigment. God, I feel like you don't even need concealer with this. A lot lighter in colour. Like I would probably warm this up with sculpting, like some concealer or like just bronzer. I feel like it's very white on me. But you know, this is the shade that I had that they picked out and thought that matched my skin tone. See how hard it is to actually match like a foundation when you don't and it's not you picking it. This looks a bit too dark for me, so I do like it to be a bit brighter, but at the same time, this is a bit too white. But saying that, I don't have any other makeup on. So like once you've applied bronzer and everything, I feel like it would look a bit different. But I do feel this is a bit too white, but yeah, that's full coverage. You can see the difference, right? Like you can still see, you know, shadows on my face here. Here, it's like everything's super opaque. So I've removed the skin tint from this side and now you can see it's not as even. You can see the redness that's coming through. It's patchy. Look at the difference. This is full coverage. It covers everything. So I feel like with full coverage, you don't really need concealer because I feel like you're getting that full coverage and concealer is just going to make it a little bit too heavy. Full coverage on its own is pretty heavy anyway. Like this is way too much for me, I feel. With your medium coverage, that's what I've got on the back of my hand. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin in Nine Neutral. This is the Fenty 115 brush. 
definitely more coverage than the skin tint, so that light coverage. See, this is way more coverage than the light coverage foundation I had on first. It's not looking as heavy as this side. See how this doesn't look as opaque? So I've got a little bit more coverage here and it gives me, it's like it's covered up my sunspots there. So that's enough for me. I feel like full coverage really is if you feel that you need full coverage. If you don't really need full coverage, always try medium because most, me most medium foundations are buildable anyway. So you can build it up to however much you want. You go in straight with something like this, it's just gonna look realistic like ridiculous i've seen so many tiktok videos of this good apple foundation it's just too heavy it's like you can see it more than you can see this i feel like this you still have some shadows in the face like you can see some dimension there and i feel like here it's just very flat you know so this medium coverage i always feel is a good option if you do have things that you want to cover like if you have blemishes if you have sunspots if you sometimes might need to go a little bit extra with your coverage and you can always build it up with skin tint you can't really like a light coverage foundation i don't feel from my years of experience i feel like it's a lot harder to build it up whereas with medium you can build it up with full coverage i feel like it's just i, I don't i don't really know the last time i used full coverage especially on clients i would never use full coverage it's just too much at least with medium i can kind of build it up as i go along if i need that extra coverage plus to be fair your concealer is there to give you more coverage too so it doesn't mean that you have to use a, you know, you have to rely fully on your foundation. You can also rely on your concealer a bit. So maybe you could get away with a concealer and a light coverage foundation because the concealer is kind of giving you all that coverage. It's doing that job for you. So it depends on whether you're using a concealer or not, you know, and what you're relying on your concealer for. What are you relying on your foundation for? It's gonna be different for each person. Some people will wanna get a good coverage foundation because they don't wanna use concealer. Because I would always use concealer because my under eye area and my eyelid area, because it's a lot darker than everywhere else. So it depends what your, what your needs are from a foundation what do you need it for then you can determine what kind of foundation that you want to go for are you using the concealer with your foundation because then you could probably lower down the coverage and much of your foundation depending on how great the concealer coverage is yeah it really is down to like what you need from your foundation personally i would always go for medium and i feel like if you have amazing skin Skin. then you can go for like a light coverage foundation because you're lucky enough to be able to get away with that generally i would say medium coverage is great well i really do hope that this has kind of cleared things up for you and answered all your questions about kind of different coverage foundations and now you know which one is best for you now if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos until the next video take care and i'll see you soon